Just for my cold colors. If it's money, I throw it, throw it. So today I want to talk about the fundamentals that you must know for JavaScript. Whether you're going for a JavaScript job, you're trying to start your programming career and you chose JavaScript as your first language, these are the main topics that you need to go over. Number one, variables. As I've done in my previous video about variables in JavaScript basics, variables are necessary in almost every single language. I don't think I can think of one that does not have variables. It is unavoidable and you must learn it. It's a way of storing data tem temporarily and manipulating data and saving it. Number two, conditionals. Conditionals are a way of classifying situations and making decisions. So if, if the result is 10, say, good job. If the result is under 10, say, bad job. See, I've just made a little decision tree using that conditional. Number three, arrays. So imagine this, we have 100 people in a school and we have all their grades. We want to average it out. So we have two ways of doing this. We can store it in one long array and iterate through that, or we can go manually and write every single one one by one. And then we have to go and call every single one one by one, or we can put it in an array, call the array, and then just iterate over that. Number four, objects. Objects are a way to map data into your own little containers. So if we could do two things, if we wanted to store the structure of a human body, we have a head, we have a body and we have legs. We have two ways of doing it. We can store them in separate variables, but then we have to go and call those specific variables and we have to make sure that they all link to the human body. Or we can make a human object and inside that object have head, body, and legs. Objects are also known as dictionaries and I've actually made a video on this. You can see me using the dictionary as an example. So when I look up for a specific word, I can find it within that dictionary and all the definitions inside the dictionary are in that dictionary object. So you can call dictionary and you can say dictionary.hello and then it'll give you the definition, hello is a greeting we use in English or something like that. Number five, loops. Loops are lifesavers. Here's two examples. First one, I'm going to show on the screen me writing the word hello 10 times. And second example is going to be me writing a loop to print out the word hello 10 times. Now, which one looks better to you? If it's not a bit good enough an example, just change it from 10 to infinity. Which one would you like to do? Last and not least, number six, functions. Functions are a way of automating code. I actually made a function, I made a video on every topic I'm going over, but functions is probably one of my best ones because I showed my morning routine and I turned it into a function. Waking up, getting, you know, brushing my teeth, washing my face, all these steps, I turned it into a function and now instead of calling each step over, all I had to do was call a function and it ran all these steps. Let's say we wanted to take five, multiply it by five and divide it by 10. And that was our function. And now I decided that instead of using five, I wanted to use six. So I have two ways of doing this. I can rewrite the whole equation. So five times five divided by 10 and get that answer and then go and write it again, but six times six divided by 10. Or I can make a function with placeholders. And if I supply it five, it'll do five times five divided by 10. It pretty much puts X in the place of five and then whatever variable I give it, it will replace X with the, with the number I give it. That's what functions are useful for. You can build these automated pieces of code, give it specific data, and it'll just run the whole thing for that specific piece of code. So that was a quick overview of the six fundamentals that you need when you're starting off as a beginner. These must be used when you're building a full stack project. So if you're interested in, you think that you might be ready to start a project, this is the list to go through and see if you know all these. If you do, you're gonna be fine. If you don't, either you go and learn it as you do the project, or you go and learn it through one of my videos, and then you come back to your project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Just for my cold colors. If it's money, I throw it.